So guys, for the requirement of this procedure, we'll be needing a temperature tray, a washing bowl, a jug containing tepid or tap water, a temperature thermometer. We will also be needing a glass of cold drink. We will be needing a bait thermometer, but since we do not have, we will improvise with our elbow. We will also need five clothes or flannels, five of them. We will also need a receiver containing a pair of gloves. And this is if there is any open wound in the patient's body. For the bottom trolley, we'll be needing two large bait towels and one small bait towel, then a bucket to receive used water. So for the procedure proper, we will first explain procedure to patient, tell patient why we want to carry out this procedure and how it can help them. And the purpose of this procedure is to reduce high temperature without shivering attack. Make sure to gain informed consent and then you go to bring your equipment for the procedures close to the patient. This procedure, if the patient's temperature is 38 degrees Celsius and above, that is when tepid sponging is needed. Then at this point, you are going to screen your bed, but because of video sake, we are not going to screen our bed. So you can ask for an assistant to strip the bed linen off from the patient. One of the um, scientific principles is body contact with tepid water helps to reduce body temperature by conduction. So when the tepid water touches the body, it will help to reduce um, temperature by conduction. Then... The next thing we should do for this procedure is to put a, one of the large towels under the patient. And my assistant is going to help me hold my patient while I lay the towel on my side. My patient is not too strong to get out of the bed. If not, he would have gotten out of the bed. So as you can see, I gave my assistant more towel so that when I hold my patient, she will be able to lay the towel at her own end. So the next thing is to remove patient's clothes and then cover them with the second large towel. So at this point, we've already removed the patient's clothes and as you can see, we are covering my patient with the large towel the second large towel. So the next thing you are going to do is to take your temperature thermometer and you are going to clean the thermometer from the bottom to the top. Try to flap it so that the mercury gauge can come down in order to get an accurate record. You put the, the thermometer in the patient's armpit or axilla for like two minutes and then Remove it, put it in an eye level to check the reading. Is to clean the thermometer from up to the bottom. Then you record your findings. So guys, after that, you assist the patient so that they can drink the cold drink. Drinking cold water will promote heat loss by evaporation. So this cold water we are giving is just to promote heat loss by evaporation. So the next thing to do here is to pour into the washing bowl some water from the jug. And then because we do not have a bait thermometer, I'll use my elbow as you can see. It should be a tepid water, not, not um, a hot water or a warm water. 
So at this point, I am placing Face three top of my of flannels. I'm soaking them and I will lightly squeeze some water from it. All the water will not be out. So I'll place my first face flannel on my patient's forehead. Then the second one at one part of the axilla. That's the third flannel which I want to place at the other axilla. So guys, you, you will continue to change this flannel when they get warm. We will cold. We want the flannels to be cold. So now we'll take another flannel. We will use it to kind of sponge the upper extremities, which are the face, neck, trunk, um, the thorax and the abdomen with the upper limb, which are the two hands. So we will kind of sponge it. As we are sponging it, we'll be leaving a drop, we'll be leaving some drop of water on the patient's body. They call it a long stroke of water. Guys, make sure you leave this stroke of water because it will help to reduce the temperature by conduction as we already said. Placing the flannel soak in tepid water on the forehead and on, on each axilla will help to reduce um, body temperature also by conduction. Exposing the body to fan will even promote heat loss by convection. As you can see, I changed flannels, like I went back to soak it because I felt mm -hmm. like it was warm already at this point, although we are using Mr. Jones, but yeah, this is the right thing to do. So guys, after um, putting those strokes of droplet water at the upper extremities, we are going to go to the lower extremities. And as you can see, I'm folding up my towel so that I can be able to sponge the lower extremities. So guys, I'm just going to do the same thing. Sponge the lower extremities, leaving droplets of water on the skin so that the so that it will promote heat loss so guys i'm just going to do this you start from the um extremity that is further away before that that is closer to you remember to change the water as you are using it make sure to change the guys water. you will use um a sterile cutting wool to kind of clean the, yeah let me just say private part you will use a sterile cutting wool to do that but if patient is able to clean it by themselves it's very fine so guys on finishing the procedure we are going to wait for about 10 minutes after that we will take the patient's temperature again if the temperature falls down with one degree Celsius. It is considered satisfactory. Like if the temperature was 38 degrees Celsius and now after checking it, it is now 37 degrees Celsius. It is considered satisfactory. But if not, we are going to continue to do the tepid sponging. We are up to open the nearby windows and so guys as you can see i'm just removing all my um flannels remember to clean the temperature thermometer again before inserting it into the patient's axilla So 
so you wait for like two minutes before doing it put it at the eye level so that you can be able to read it remember to clean the thermometer and also document your findings after the procedure then you make patients comfortable as you can see we are wearing the patient the clothes give psychological support to patients also because while you are using this tepid water on their skin they will not just be there they will be feeling they will be feeling it yeah they will feel the coldness of the water even if it's just tepid water the water is not from the refrigerator they will feel the cold the, or the coldness of it so i'm i'm folding my large towel trying to clear up the equipment ask patients how they are feeling and if they are better at this point then i'm trying here to remove my um large towel which i put under the patient's body so guys retaking the body temperature after like 10 to 30 minutes of the procedure will assist you as the nurse in assessing whether there is improvement in the client or patient's condition so guys remember this is a clean procedure it is a clean procedure many people mistake clean procedure for sterile procedure tepid sponging is a clean procedure guys you may or may not cover the patient depending on how they are feeling if they are still feeling hot you should not cover up the patient instead you should open open the um counter pain and everything open the patient's body also thank you so much for watching guys please make sure to subscribe and like the Thank you so, so much for watching to the end. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you are not a member of this channel or if you are not one of my subscribers, please, please make sure to subscribe. It really, really goes a long way for me. As you can see, I'm recording my findings. So guys, see you in my next video. Bye.